Hello friends, my name is Amasu. Today we'll discuss about a topic contract types in project management. Friend, there are uh, mainly three types of contracts in project management. As per the PMBOK project management body of knowledge, first one is fixed price contract. Then the second one is cost reimbursable and third one is time and material. So uh, friend, we will discuss one by one. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's start friend. Fixed price contract. First of all friend, what is contract? Contract is basically the agreement between two parties based on some terms and condition and generally contract is a legal document. So what is fixed price contract? Friend, fixed price contract is this is the contract involved a fixed price for a defined product or service or the result to be supplied these types of contracts are recommended when the scope of service is completely defined and final. That means friend, if you have a clear understanding and vision of the scope of work which you have to deliver, so you can um, deal, you can make a fixed price contract. Fixed price contract means that uh, ABC vendor will provide you uh, a service and you will pay for example $500 for that. So that is called as the con concept of fixed price con contract. So when you receive the uh, service or product or some result, you will pay a fixed fee for that, fixed price for that. Either he will give you the time, for example, within one month or two months or three months, but the price will be fixed, price will not be changed. So that is called as the concept of fixed price contract. And remember friend that in this type of contract, the seller is on the risk. Why? Because if the time is increasing, the buyer is not on a risk, the seller is on, always on the risk. Another type is cost reimbursable contract. contract. That means friend, that whatever you are spending, you will uh, receive that money and plus some additional fee as well. This fee should have to be well defined and well documented in advance. For example, let's suppose, let's suppose that uh, you are building a flyover in a city, for example. So you, uh, that, that could be a cost re reimbursable contract in that way. For example, if the building of flyover is, for example, it cost, let's suppose, let's suppose it cost $30,000, for example. Okay. So $30,000 plus $5,000 more. Like uh, this, the cost which you spent on building a flyover, th that is the uh, cost which you spent. So that is the cost of $30,000 plus some additional fee, for example, $5,000 more you will receive. So in that way, it will become 30 plus 5. So it will become $35,000. So that is to be considered as a cost reimbursable contract. Like whatever the cost you are spending, you will receive from the uh, from the uh, buyer and plus some additional fee as well. So this is called as a concept of cost reimbursable contract cost reimbursable whatever you are spending you will receive plus with some additional fee as well. Time and material contract friend time and material contract is basically the concept like you are working for uh, hourly basis. So we decide the hourly rate or daily rate with you and whatever the time you spent you will receive that money according normally uh, you have definitely seen for example freelancer are working for software development so they have some rate of hourly so if you spent for example you can say five dollar per hour for example so if you spent uh, two hours so that means you will give a uh, ten dollar to the developer uh, another way for example daily wages workers workers for example uh, you need some work in your house and you uh, contact with some daily wages worker so he worked for two hour, uh, two days and for one day you will give him for example let's suppose you will give him twenty dollar for example so for two days working you will give him forty dollars so time in material contract means whatever the time uh, so basis on time you will decide the money and whatever the time you will use the service you will uh, give the money accordingly so the 
money or the uh, price is based on the time and material time and material means that the service which you are using for such time for some time so you will pay for that accordingly according to the time that is called as the concept of time and material contract as well so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and uh, that's all from my side i hope you like this video if you like please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching this video thank you